Hey everyone, Josh here with Ubreak iFix. Today we're gonna to be taking apart the iPhone 7 Plus, Apple's new flagship. We're gonna get this guy taken apart, see what makes it tick, and uh, see what it's all about. Now that we've got the display off, we're starting to disassemble it, we're to the point where we would be removing the home button. This button no longer physically moves or clicks. This is a pressure sensitive home button, kind of like what we see in Apple's Apple Watch display or their MacBook Pro trackpads. There's a pressure sensor built into the button in conjunction with the, the fingerprint scanner uh, for Touch ID. And when the sensor detects even the slightest bit of pressure, it causes the phone to vibrate. And that vibration that we feel is being made by Apple's custom made, what they call Taptic Engine. camera of course still includes optical image stabilization that's those little springs that we see on either side and that's what helps keep everything looking nice and smooth even when the phone is uh, moving around a little bit um, and again obvious notable difference in this between the iPhone 7 and all other iPhones before it is of course that Apple now uses on their flagship model this secondary lens this is a zoom lens or a telephoto zoom lens so we're actually getting true functional lens that can zoom in without uh, degrading the quality of the picture and generally in the past there's been a big old headphone jack right here but of course with the iphone 7 apple has now completely eliminated that headphone jack and we have nothing but the lightning port on the bottom the lack of the headphone jack also helps with water resistance it's one less fail point for water to enter into and it, because we've moved this Taptic engine out, it's allowed Apple to use a, a little bit of a bigger size battery, which of course helps with battery life. If we look at the microphones, for instance, there's a very fine mesh that goes over all the microphone inlets and it's so fine that water cannot get in, but audio can. Audio waves can go in or out, whether it's the speaker or the microphone. So, you know, Apple's definitely done some work to try to achieve that water resistance rating that they give the device. So, you know, some final thoughts that I have, maybe in comparison to last year's model. Um, in terms of taking it apart, you know, largely the same. There's not gonna be a whole lot of surprises you're gonna come across uh, in terms of how it's put together. Uh, I'm excited to kind of see where it goes from here. So. Appreciate you guys watching today. Appreciate you watching the take apart. Again, my name is Josh, and I'll see you next time with You Break I Fix.